So before we go any further, we're going to install the master power reed switch, which is this lovely little tiny reed switch. It comes pre-wired, both the wires are black, and that's how you tell it apart from the ratchet close reed switch, because the ratchet close reed switch has a yellow and black wire on it, and is installed in the door as we've already done. So in order to operate the reed switch, the body kit comes with a square or rectangular magnet. This one on the end of my screwdriver. Now what you should do is dremel out this slot and slide the magnet in. You can see it's too big to slide in. And then as you close the door, the reed switch will operate. But what I've found is if you can get, and you can buy them off eBay, these small round magnets, you can have two of them together and they fit very nicely into the slot already. And then this gets covered over with a, a decal or a graphic. So with those in place, and I'm just going to hold them in place with a bit of masking tape just to stop them fall out. Shut the door, and the reed switch now has to be hot glued somewhere along here where the magnetic field will turn it off. So I've got it wired up to my sound meter. If I switch it on, we'll hear the tone. And as I position the reed switch in the magnetic field, the tone will stop. So I know that that's the position where I need to hot glue in my reed switch. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just tack down the wires. Just to help hold it in place. Let those dry. Okay, it's there so... It's a bit fiddly, but you have to get it done. Okay, there's one. As long as the tone stays off, I'm okay. If you don't have a meter, what you can do is do this as the very last job. And when everything's wired up, position the reed switch where everything switches off. So as I open the door, we should hear the tone again. So if you have the equipment to do it, install it at this stage. If you don't, it will be the very last thing you install. You wire everything together, put power to it, and it will come on even with the door closed. You then position the reed switch until it switches itself off hot glue it in place as I have just shown then when you open the door the tricord will work again as indicated by my tone one reed switch installed there Now the next thing to do is to make sure those magnets stay in that position and glue them in place. So you've got to make sure those magnets stay in place where they are. So what I'll do is put a touch of super glue on them and then I will seal this area 
couple with some hot glue and that will hold them in place. Now we are talking magnets here of course, so you don't want to touch them with anything magnetic. So I've got a cocktail stick, just to make sure they're in position, that's good. I'm going to put a drop of super glue in there. that and the magnets uh, I'm just moving them about here to cover them all with uh, super glue but the important thing is here is that they do stay in the same place you glue you've tested them out, it's no good me gluing it there, it needs to be here. Then what I've decided to do, I'm going to just put a little injection of hot glue in there. Right, so uh, it looks a bit messy, but once it's got the decal over it, it'll be okay. And then I'll hold those in place. So let's just do a quick check. Off. On. Off. On. I need to give it a good old wipe. Wipe down. Tidy this back up. Then we'll go and do some spray painting. It's had its final primer coat. I'm just smoothing it all off. And then it will go down to its first spray paint. Now something I've had to do is I've had to install uh, less than half a millimetre thick round magnet on top of the magnet I embedded in here. What I think's happened is I've put too much filler over the holes and the hinges and the magnet stopped operating the reed switch that was in the door. But if I placed the magnet here it worked. So what I found out was if I just put this magnet here, I didn't want to drill in or anything, then it actually operates the closed ratchet sound and it's not that obtrusive. It's just something that happened. So if I was to do this again, what I might have done, in fact I will on the next one, I'll replace both the screws with two magnets, therefore it's got more magnetic field and it should penetrate easier, or further I should say. smoother. This one will bring almost the polish up onto it. <laughs> there we go, lovely. So I'll finish this off and then take it for a spray, bring it back and show you what it looks like. And then we'll carry on.
Tri Corners had its first coat of paint and it's looking pretty good. I'm just finishing it. It's called with this finishing stuff. It's called uh, Ice 3000, and it takes um, all the little gritty feeling off it, and it makes it nice and smooth. So I'll do this now, and then this will just be left to harden. The paint's only just dried, so I'm not rubbing hard or pressing hard. But I'll just leave this to go off for a couple of days, actually.